And the race to get autonomous vehicles on the road across the U.S. is intensifying. This week, Motional, a driverless technology company and ride-hailing giant Lyft, announced their plans to launch a robo-taxi service in several major American cities beginning in 2023. The two companies have already begun working together for three years now on a pilot program in Las Vegas. And joining us now is Motional CEO Carl Yagnema, who is, and we've got to mention Raj Kapoor as well, Lyft's chief strategy officer and head of AV business. Great to have you both here on the show with us today. Carl, let's start with you. Why is this, in your company's own words, a quantum leap for your partnership with Lyft? And what does it allow you to do now that you weren't able to do before? This is an industry first, you know, it's the largest ride hail deployment of robo taxis. We're going to take Motional's driverless vehicle technology, put it on a Lyft network and have the potential to ultimately reach millions of Lyft customers. So big step forward for the industry as we transition from research to road. And so additionally, Raj, the big question that we perhaps should start off with is how far away are we right now from this being a reality? What types of red tape still need to be cut and what types of research and development still need to be done? So this, uh, like, like Carl said, this represents really a first and we're doing this also because we're confident that a lot of the issues that need to be resolved are, are happening quickly for autonomous. Carl can talk about the amazing technology that Motional has created for the self-driving vehicle in addition to that, there's the network. Um, and one of the important things uh, that ride hailing, we believe, will be the uh, first way for autonomous vehicles to launch is because we can handle the rides that the self-driving vehicle can, because they can't do every ride at this point. And so they can go into a human lift. Also, there's an integrated set of transportation offerings that we now have online with bikes and scooters and transit that's there. So we can provide a complete package and finally, we spent three years working with Motional and we've learned what works for the consumer. We've integrated the technologies together. Uh, we've done over 100,000 rides and, uh, and the ratings are that 98% uh, of rides are rated a five star. Wow. Carl, you're currently conducting a self-driving service in Las Vegas with Lyft. What are the next steps in ramping up this service and, and getting it to go mainstream across the U.S. by 2023? Yeah, we're going to be working closely together, Motional and Lyft, over the next few years to ensure that our technology, the driverless technology, can connect seamlessly with the Lyft system. You know, a customer at the end of the day, they want to push a button and have a car show up in a couple minutes, whether that's a human piloted car or a driverless car. But on the back end, uh, there's quite a bit of work to do to connect our driverless system to the Lyft network. So we're going to be hard at work making that seamless over the next couple of years. Raj, an obvious financial incentive as well. As we know, Lyft has already, even when it was going public, talked to the investment community about its intentions to be profitable in the future. I wonder how much this would cut down on some of the costs to operate. So we're in a, a quiet period, so I can't talk about any, any sort of cost, but what I can tell you is that the promise of autonomous technology helps in a lot of different ways. It helps uh, in terms of uh, in cost. It also helps in terms of uh, reliability and of course safety is a very big deal and uh, we're a big proponents of shared and electric as well as our partner emotional so we can also make a big impact on congestion and make an impact on emissions and how would one go about ordering a autonomous and autonomous vehicle in that experience Raj yeah and and the beauty of this is that nothing really changes for the consumer they open up their lyft app as they have been doing for years in fact in las vegas with motional and uh if and when a self-driving ride is available the consumer can then choose that mode and so they're very aware going into it and they can experience the full self-driving ride if it's not available there'll be other options for them to choose from Carl, let's talk about safety as well. How is Motional employing technology to ensure that its riders ensure and get a safe ride all the way through and through point A to point B, wherever they may go? Yeah, safety is something we focus on every day. You know, from an engineering perspective, from an operations perspective, really from every dimension. We've been talking about Las Vegas, where we've given over 100,000 rides to date. We've driven over a million miles autonomously. We haven't had a single at-fault accident. It would take a human driver 75 years to accumulate that kind of driving record. 
So we're very proud of our safety record and we're going to continue to focus on safety. Raj, what would be a good number as you start to ramp up the not just testing, but in the future, when you think about the the acceleration of the number of passengers that would be willing to take a trip via autonomous technology. What are some of the benchmarks that you would set for an initiative like this? So um, we think that, uh, first of all, uh, the, this is not just testing. This is act an actual deployment agreement where we're going into multiple cities at city scale. Um, so we anticipate that there's going to be significant demand for this. And in the research that we've done with Lyft customers, they're excited on average with, uh, in, in participating in and doing an autonomous ride as well. Excellent to have you both here on the show and thanks for the insight. Looking forward to seeing this perhaps in New York City one day, maybe 2023, maybe thereafter. Keep us updated. Carl Yagnema, who is the CEO of Motional and Raj Kapoor, who is the Chief Strategy Officer and Head of AV Business at Lyft joining us today.